Philadelphia's Classic Rock, 102.9 MGK ELO and Mr. Blue Sky. We're going to be playing a lot of stuff uh, off the cuff today. And uh, and we started right there with that. 66 degrees outside, sunny and hazy, high temperature at 88. How much of this is condensation on the windows? All of it. All of it is? Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. Because it's really, yeah. our, our windows are, 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 are so wet that you can't even tell what's going on outside. But uh, it, it is going to be a blue sky day, and, oh. and I hope we will uh, you will be with me throughout the show. It's funny. I've got texts coming in from people that says, John, good morning. I took off from work today so I can listen to oh, your wow. show in its entirety. I've been listening since 82, uh, Donna in Florence, New Jersey. I know – I don't know Donna, but I recognize Donna from Florence, New Jersey. Do you know what she does? Right, I have no oh, okay. idea. I have no idea at Prison all. officer. Uh, uh, <laughs> all I know is that there are so many people that I know just by – by the text board, yeah, right, sure. like Donna from Florence, right, and then and then Debbie, who sends in there's, there's this woman, Debbie, every morning when I come in here, one of the first texts I get, if, and, and I don't think I've ever known her name before. Uh, it's the one that's the text that always have little hearts on yeah, them, yeah, yeah, right, Morn. Right? Right, yeah, Morn, Morn. Morn, yeah, Morn, Morn, right, right, and all the little hearts, and and every morning that's how I start my morning by seeing that text from her and Debbie. I want you to know how much I've appreciated that. But 66 degrees outside right now, a sunny, hazy day is what we've got ahead of us and a lot of radio program. And and everything I do today will be the last time I do it. Right? So it's 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 going to be weird. And uh, and I will get all misty and weepy at times today. I, I, I already did it with Debbie. Right. Seeing that and thinking about not seeing that come Monday morning. Right? It's just, it's hard. It, it, I get it. It is hard. Yeah. So and this is going to your voice is going to waver oh, a, a lot, lot today. <laughs> a lot, a indeed. Lot. All right, all right. Well, we're going to take care of some business. We do have uh, red hot chili peppers coming up at six twenty five for the question from hell. A lot of special stuff. So we'll be a red man. The John DeBella podcast. It's rock one hundred two point nine MGK. It's possible. It's definitely. I, I see yeah. two normal sized humans and then an ant. <laughs> so I'm not. I, I would assume that that's Dave. Yeah. Well, well, it looks like it looks like Adam's truck. My friend, my friends, Adam, Dave, McGrogan, and and Caesar. God, they just bust that lawn chair. All, all right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> they, they said that they were going to tailgate in the parking lot because we weren't going to have anybody in the studio. The only people going to be in the studio today are Steve and myself, my wife Lisa, and my brother Joseph. Right. right. And that is it. Those are the only people who are going to be in here. A lot of people wanted to be, but I want this show to be me talking to the listeners and the listeners. Listeners alone, right? Uh, you know, and everybody wanted to come in, and they said, "Do you, <laughs> they, do you mind the waving?" They waved, so they hit the delay. Uh, okay. that's, the- <laughs> uh, that's what it is. They hit the. They got a sign of some kind. Says, right? Oh, Debella is the best. <laughs> okay, I, you know, I know you hate the duh. I, I hate the dust stuff. Right? <laughs> right? Joe Bell called me yesterday <laughs> about the party that is going to happen. Oh, Christ, right? and I'm going like, "Oh no, please don't do it up." <laughs> All right. So, okay, yeah, it is them. All right, uh, guys, just so you guys know, our windows are so fogged up, we really can't see you that clearly. Once the sun hits them for a while, we'll have a better view of the great outdoors. The John DeBella Podcast. Classic Rock, 102.9 MGK. Bat, bat, bat Penadar. Doesn't bat, matter. Bat, Doesn't bat matter. Penadar. At this point. All right. 66 degrees outside. Sunny and hazy today. The high temperature about 88 degrees. Okay. Outside is beginning to get crazy. Yeah. All right. Not only are Dave and I, I guess that's Caesar with them also and, and Adam out there. Okay. Right. Then someone else has pulled up in, in a uh, uh, the pickup yep. with two huge... I, 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 wow! Look, one of the one of them is the first morning zoo album. Right, there's a giant that. poster of that. I don't know what else uh, is okay, up there. On the, so it's the hard left, because our, our, the, our windows are all fogged so up. So fogged up. Uh, the second one, the, the big board on the right, the top right. left of that says WLIR. Okay, wow. And MMR. Right, right. Uh, so and it's then got I, all the stations. And then I can't see the rest. It looks like some right. photos that were probably part of the slideshow from the uh, uh, the okay. event. Right, right. Or, or from the website. Or from the website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. And then the the right one that you can see says forty one and we all done. Does it say done? Yeah, forty one and we all done. I think that's what it says. Uh-huh. Thank you, JDB, with the MGK logo and a bunch of other pictures. All right, yeah, pretty and cool. I don't, I, and I don't know now, now. Now here comes McGrogan's holding some kind of sign. I don't know what the hell that says. I can't tell. It does. Right. It's a little piss hand sign next to this giant right, right, billboard. Right, this this giant guy's got. Thing that's right. But they've got, they've got lounge chairs out there. They think it's a dead show. You know, this is a, an office building. People are coming to work at some point. I mean, it is Friday, but well, still. It is, well, it, it is Friday, so the majority of the people who work in the building. <laughs> I can see the sign. <laughs> they wrote WMGK, crossed it out in a big red X and wrote AARP underneath it. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so text messages are coming in like crazy this morning. I thank you all for them. Uh, and and we're asking, we're going to do Ask Me Anything. So if you've got a question you've always wanted answered, text it into us to MGK, MGK, that's 645, 645. And I've been asked, am yep. I a happy boy this morning? And I am. The John DeBella Podcast. A lot of the questions we're getting, we're, we're going to do Ask Me Anything a little later on this morning at 740. So if you got a question, text it to MGK, MGK, that's 645, 645. I want to thank everybody. The emails just keep coming in. The texts just keep coming in. Uh, and uh, the amount of letters and cards that I've gotten is I'm in shock over. You know, uh, but but and, and one of the questions people come to me all the time is, is, you know, why do you do this? What is what is the most fun about this? Why did you get into doing this? And at its core, it's the music. It's always been about the music, folks. That is the most important part of this. Everything that I do around this. Look, any radio station could play the music that we play. My job is to make it as entertaining as I possibly can around the music that we play. So at its core, the proper song to play is The Core. The John DeBella Podcast, 102.9 MGK. You know the bands. You know the songs. This is the history behind them. Classic Rock 102.9 MGK presents... Song Stories. Song Stories being brought to us by Matt Blatt and Mitsubishi, located in the heart of Glassboro for for over 30 years. Um, There's a song I want to play this morning. It's a Springsteen song, and if I have the time, I'm going to follow it with another Springsteen song that everybody, everybody knows I love it. I did a special version of it. And a lot of people didn't like it, but I just might play it this morning because what are they going to do? Fire me? Mm-hmm. They're going to stop listening? All right. So, but this first song is really important to me. And it's, we have a lot of fun here on the show, but this is a business. And, and the radio business and the media in general is difficult. It's stressful. There's a lot that goes on. And sometimes it can really get to you. And there was a time back in uh, like 2012, I think it was, I was negotiating a new contract and the company at that time, and it wasn't this company, it was a different company at that time, it was still Greater Media at that company, Mm -hmm. they were coming at me hard. They were coming at me hard, there were things they didn't want to do, there were things that I wanted. I didn't think I was going to be able to get through it. I didn't know if I was going to be here any longer. But Bruce Springsteen put out the Wrecking Ball album. And every morning, I woke up to this song when I got in my car, I listened to it again, and I advise you, if things are getting tough, right, listen to this song. Tell the world to bring it on because you are tougher than the world is. The John DeBella Podcast, 102.9 MGK. Is that the first time you heard that version? Uh, I think I heard it one other time, but it was probably right when I started, like eight years ago. Uh, so yeah. I, I didn't know exactly where the extended part was until <laughs> it hit. Right, right. Because up, and, up until the, the hums come in, right. it's, you know, it's, it's the basic song. And then, but my favorite, part, my favorite part is where it comes back. All of a sudden, the song goes back, and he yeah. starts it all over again. Some people, when I originally did that, some people got really, really ticked about it. Well, it's just like the people that heard the Fall Out Boy version of... Uh, 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 we wouldn't start the fire. fire. This song blows. Don't mess anything up. We hate change. <laughs> well, nothing says Philly like that. <laughs> right. It is. Hang on. I, I, I mean, my phone is exploding. Oh, by the, the way, text board is exploding. Um, <laughs> Fox Twenty Nine has been doing like cut-ins. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. This. And I was watching when we were in music. I was watching my phone, and Jarek said, I was "Talking about you." And at nine a.m., Jarek thinks you should shave off the mustache. Just All right. Th- th- yeah, he he forty-one and done. Mustache yeah. gone. <laughs> that, that's it. Right now. <laughs> that's not happening. That's just not going to happen. I've said it before. The only way that would happen is uh, I kill Lisa. Yep. Right. And then I shave off the mustache and never talk again. And there's a chance they might not find me. Right. Right. I don't want to kill my wife. And I want to keep my get a, get a wig. Well, I've, you've seen me dude, in a wig. Dude, you've seen I, me. I, if I you was started fun. walking around with a toupee. <laughs> I wanted after to you retire. So I'll be hilarious. I wanted to so badly. All right, and and I, I was thinking about it that that there's going to be a party sometime in the future, and I was oh, thinking John, I, I would, would so if funny. I could find a toupee and dude. walk in with a toupee oh. on. Right, they would everybody like, and everybody would, be, would make everybody so uncomfortable. Play it. Does and, he know how bad it looks? And you play it just straight. Yeah, you play it straight. Make yeah, it the perfect. worst rug you. Could 
could find. The John DeBella Podcast. Classic Rock 102.9 MGK. This is it, my final show. We're going to get to Ask Me Anything in a little bit. And then in the 8 o'clock hour, uh, th- can you give me a hint as to who this in- – I'm getting an important phone call. No, somebody important's calling. Somebody important. It's not calling. the president. It's not – okay. All right. And it's – It's not anybody running for president. It's nobody running for president. Okay. It's – Nobody that plays a sport in Philadelphia. Okay. All right. It's not your wife. Not no, your my, no, no, my, my, no. Come on in, hon. She, 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 she obeyed the on-air life. It's Bill, by the way. It's, it's Bill. That's it's it's, yeah, it's going to be Bill. Bill's Bill. going to call in. Bill right. West. Uh, well, he couldn't well. wait to talk to you till after the show. <laughs> well, my wife is here, or as I like to say, oh, this is so cheap. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Go ahead. Love has come to town. Investing can be like a puzzle. There are so many pieces to consider, and it can be hard to know where to start. But with the right guidance, you can put the pieces together to create a winning strategy. And that's where Founders Investment Services come in. The team of financial advisors can help you navigate the complexities of investing and create a personalized plan that fits your goals and risk tolerance. They'll work with you to identify the pieces of your puzzle and how they fit into your financial future. Call 866-739-7064. Or, or visit foundersfcuinvestments.com. Securities offered through LPL Financial. With the Mania and the Red Morning Show's War of the Roses, we're helping partners find out whether or not they're being cheated on. We are not together anymore. We broke up two months ago, and we've had plenty of conversations. I had to get a new number because she wouldn't stop harassing me. It wasn't that clear to me, okay? And you were now? cheating on me with Natalie then. I was right. I wasn't crazy. There's no trust, so you can't really have a relationship if you don't trust the partner you're with. We just ask that you're actually in a relationship. Listen to Manny and Lorenz War of the Roses wherever you listen to your podcasts. The John DeBella Podcast, 102.9 MGK. I can't break the habit. Well, it's time. (laughs) It is time. (laughs) 41 and done. (laughs) You know me. You know, Bill calls me. Bill calls me a time Nazi. Yes. All right. Because because people depend on us breaking at particular times so that they, you know, they they know they're on time for work. They know what's going on. Do you really think they care today if they make it into work on time? Well, well, it's just it's just, you know, you know me. I like I like organization. You know, I I understand if if I let it get out of hand. It sounds like it's Pierre. I've given you an hour and 40 minutes. Of letting you do your time, okay, and try right. to time things out. All right, stop. Okay, I'll stop. Okay. I, okay, I don't care how late we go. I'll make sure that the commercials get in all right. all before right. the, the. And it so, doesn't matter to so, you anymore. Who so, cares? You're so, not going to so be here. Go, so we can go with the Matt show. Yeah, Matt doesn't called. care. Matt, that's, the, the further we go with the Matt show, the happier he uh, will correct. be. Correct. All right. All right. It's Correct. 69 degrees outside, sunny and hazy, the high temperature about 88. I'm surprised you're not yelling at me for doing weather. Uh, I did that yesterday. <laughs> Just look outside. All right. That's it. From now. You have that, windows. That's Steve's idea of a weather forecast, folks. That's what you have coming when Steve takes over. Look right? Outside. It's gonna, look, outside, look outside. It's 88 degrees. Open the weather app. <laughs> right. It's probably wrong, but open the weather app. Uh, 69 degrees outside right now. Uh, and again, I should, I should, I was talking about this yesterday, and we, we've talked about it in the 8 o'clock hour. I don't think we talked about it here. When, after today's show, uh, Steve's going on vacation. I'm going on permanent vacation. Uh, and uh, But a, a week later, Steve will come back. He will be handling the show for uh, a, a few, what, six, eight weeks. Uh, yeah, a couple, as, yeah, a couple months. Yeah. As you guys build the new morning show. Correct. And yeah. then Steve will be part of that new morning show. Uh, so I, I, I'm expecting you, if you love me, love him, folks. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm expecting you. It's, is it going to be the same show? No, of course it's not going to be the same show. Right, the, the him and whoever he's going to do this with have to build a show that works for them and works for you. I got so, a message yesterday on Instagram. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> dear, dear Steve, you don't know me, but I've emailed you before on WMGK app. You have some big shoes to fill after John DeBella retires. Lisa in Delaware. <laughs> Thank you. Lisa. Thank you for the message, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I wasn't sure. <laughs> Good thing John has an 11, a 12 and I have an 11, so we should be all right. Only an inch. All right. So uh, we said that we would uh, we'll, uh, open up the, uh, the text board to ask me anything. And uh, here, here are some of the things that came in this morning. All right. Are there any songs you play that you really hated but you had to play them? All right. Um, there are, there are, look, look, I didn't get into this. If I came on the air every day and only played the songs I liked, I wouldn't have an audience. All right, because the, my job is to play the songs you like. And even though I might dislike some of them, 
I'm not doing the show for me. I'm doing the show for you. So, so if, yes, there are songs that I've hated. I, right now, none of them come to mind. Right, but well, okay. I'll give you one. <laughs> right, right. American Pie, <laughs> <laughs> right? Alice's Restaurant. Steve's, Steve's actually gotten me to hate Alice's Restaurant, but uh, but no, for the most part, my job is to play you the music you like to hear, and uh, that's that. Good morning, John. Which musician's death had the biggest impact on you, Don from the Northeast? Uh, John Lennon. Uh, more more than uh, I mean, the, the Bowie was was uh, hard to deal with. Uh, Bob Saget was very hard to deal with. But when it came, if it had to be, if I had to be pinned down to one musician, it would be John Lennon. You because sh- it was, it was just show, so shocking. You also struggled with Petty. Oh yeah, I had a real bad time. Like months afterwards, you would be like, I can't believe he's dead. Yeah, yeah. it was he really, song, really yeah. it was really hard to accept that. All right, uh, what is the big string thing? How many times do I have to explain <laughs> this? In the in Bright Side, there's a point at which all of the violins come in the string section. That's the big string thing. If you wouldn't have become a DJ, what do you think you would have become? A failure. Mm. I would have been a complete failure. No, my degree is in scenic lighting and costume design. All right, so a failure. I would have been a complete failure. Hey, John, why the hell don't you play Triumph on that station, Bob? Because going back to question one, the majority of my listeners don't want to hear it. Sorry, Bob. All right. Uh, did you attend the original Woodstock in 1969 uh, and, uh, or know any stories from friends? Not only did I attend Woodstock in 1969, I worked at Woodstock in 1969. And I went up there with, with a friend of mine. And, <laughs> and, and uh, okay, we were doing acid the night before all the <laughs> rain hit. All right. When I woke up the next morning, I didn't know it had rained. I stepped out of the U-Haul van that we rented. Okay. Right? In white jeans and a British flag shirt. All right. Okay. I was the cleanest person at Woodstock until I got to the mudslide. <laughs> All right. Uh, did you? Uh, my question is what is your dream car? That's easy. A 1968 XKE Jaguar. All right. Do you miss playing new music and breaking in new artists like uh, Joan Jett, like you did on LIR and MMR? Yes, I do. I mean, my favorite song is the one I'm going to hear next, the one that I haven't heard before. You know, I, I just love that. Have you ever slept with a, with a rock star? Oh, have you ever slept with a superstar, meaning singer? And can you say who it was? Yes, no. Uh, Lisa's uh, a superstar. <laughs> Lisa's a superstar. Lisa's here in the studio with me, and that's not why I'm answering that way. The answer is yes, and the answer, and and the idea is no. Uh, have you uh, have you ever had a full beard uh, uh, and mustache in your life? Yes. That's how the mustache arrived. You had a beard? Yeah. Oh, uh, I, 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 it's the the mustache arrived in '67. Right. Right. And then uh, by the time I got to college in 68, I grew a beard, and I had that beard up until about 1980. And then okay. one day, I, sh- I started shaving it off. You know, when you shave off a beard, oh, yeah, like, yeah. oh, oh make look good. Yeah, right, yeah. And then I noticed that, that because I had the mustache first, it was actually, like, growing on top of the beard. And I went, oh, that's pretty cool. And that's uh, that's how it's been since then. All right. Have you, you've interviewed hundreds of musicians and other performers in your career. Is there someone you always wanted to interview, and for some reason or another, it didn't happen? Yes. yes. And it's still no, not going to happen. And, uh, it's not. Oh, I was Sorry. hoping that was going to be the important no, phone no, call. No, no it's not. Uh-uh. But Tom nope. Hanks isn't calling? Ain't going to happen, dude. Uh-oh. I told you. I'm not going to mess with you. It's not happening. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> that really, right? No. Josh Shapiro. Is it Josh no, Shapiro? I couldn't. It's, it's no, not Josh Shapiro. No response. Right, right, right. He's too busy with 95. All right, right. Well, that's fixed already. Right? Not I, I, I got governor stuff. I don't know what to tell you. Not Tom Hanks. Huh? It's not Tom Hanks. Uh, you're, you're, Believe me, I would like to also talk to Tom Hanks. <laughs> okay. He's on Monday the 10th. Uh, uh, with me. Thank you yeah. very much. The John DeBella Podcast. Philadelphia's Classic Rock, 102.9 MGK. Journey any way you want it. And is uh, uh, is this a special phone call now? Uh, this is special, yeah. This not is a special phone call? Well, this is better than special. No, this is a special. Oh, now I know what this is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Buenos Senorita. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. <laughs> it, it, it's it's Cindy Graham. She's in Mexico this week, and and you know, and and she went because she couldn't handle the pain of saying goodbye. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. That's what it was. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that, pal. <laughs> All right, I've got to tell you, Cindy. Before before you say anything, what you said last okay. week on the air was 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 so touching and uh, i mean p- you had people crying in their cars i just want you to know get out of here no 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 uh-huh. it was it was a lovely message but but how's mexico 
It's not too bad. You know, it, it's strange. They make a pretty good margarita down here. Well, that's surprising. Yeah, that. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> have, have you sampled them in more than one place? Or are, you just, or are the two of you just locked up in a hotel going, more? It, well, exactly, yeah. I mean, why leave? <laughs> There's like six restaurants, se- uh, seven pools, and... A lot of drinks. <laughs> nice. Well, look, I, I, I need to tell you something, and, and, and I'm so glad that you called in this morning because you have been here. You've been with me for almost the entire time, and you said it yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, when, when, when before you left, it was like you know, when it came back to going back to radio, the only way you would go back on the air in the morning is to be on with me. And as soon as I asked you, mm-hmm. you just went yes, and I am grateful for yep. it. I am thank you for your. I, I am thankful for your friendship. I am thank you thankful for having somebody in my life that I could talk about TV shows that don't have animals <laughs> and and uh, and aren't repairing houses. Uh, my wife Lisa's here in the studio. Lisa's here in the studio, so I wanted to hear her that. Oh, hear, have her, hi, Lisa. Uh, she says hi. <laughs> All right. Uh, and, Le- and Lisa, in true radio form, nodded. Okay, so Cindy, it's been so long since Cindy's been in the studio that she forgets when the microphones are on that the monitors are right. dead, uh, dead, and right. Lisa can't hear anything she's saying. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's it. So that's true. But but I want I, thank you so much, Cindy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your support all these years. Thank you for just being you. All right, I I, 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 I have appreciated you so much, and. Uh, God, I, I don't even have the words to say that, uh, of how I feel and, you know, and how grateful I am for you being here with me each and every day, all right, whenever you could. And, and even sometimes leaving the house and, and, coming, in, and coming into the studio. So, so I am, <laughs> Yeah, the ultimate sacrifice. Right, right. I am grateful for all of that. So thank you so much and enjoy oh, the rest of your you. vacation. And, and remember... Right? I know you're not drinking the water. Don't use mm-hmm. the ice on the plane. Okay. You know why? Thank you. It's because made, it's made it's, with the bad water. It's made with the bad water. Oh, right. I wouldn't even have thought of that. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so uh, much. <laughs> Wait, is she going to do traffic? Cindy, are you prepared to do a traffic report? Yeah. You are? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, go ahead. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I have to do it. I, All right. I, there's no way I could let somebody else do this last traffic report. All right, go so, ahead. <laughs> Well, we've got traffic volume lighter than usual because of the upcoming holiday weekend. Because I'm looking at the resort is... parking lot. <laughs> There's no traffic. <laughs> There's a couple of guys raking the beach out there. Um, but it, The it, John DeBella Podcast. I thought the important phone call was at 810. I did too. All right. But there's more coming in. There's more coming in? Yeah. All right. This one's international. This oh, wait. One... This is also international. Cindy's in Mexico. Right. All That's right, not right. part of America. <laughs> okay. You figured that out too. That's great. Yeah. All, right, all right. Hey, who's this? Hello. Hi. Hey. Hello, hello. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Hello. It's I, the Hooters. Hi. <laughs> hey. Are, are you guys we're somewhere in Germany. Uh, I was going to say, well, with the Guten Tag, you must be somewhere in Germany. All right. We're fine, fine, fine off the Autobahn. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Congratulations, John. Well, yeah. Congrats. Oh, thank we you so a, much, guys. truck stop. And uh, call in. How's it going? It's, well, it's 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 weird, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's going well. It's going well. But you know, it's strange knowing that this is my last day, and I'm I'm down to my last hour. But uh, fortunately enough, you guys came wow. through in the last hour. So uh, I thank you for making your long, long, long distance call. Uh, are you guys on a tour bus or something? Exactly, we are. We are. Yeah, on the Autobahn. Yeah, on the yep, Autobahn. Yep. Oh. Oh, and We're I'm halfway through our uh, Euro tour, and uh, it's going well. And listen, if it's your last hour, start cursing. Go for it, <laughs> <laughs> guys. I still, I still have to come back and work. <laughs> right, right. The, the Now's same... the time you can you can finally say what you feel, John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, guys, look. Uh, how uh, are you playing songs from the new album uh, on this tour? Yeah. All right. We yeah. are. Uh, how, how are they? How are they going over there? Really well. There's yeah, no you know what? Out there. It's great to see. We're yeah. doing a lot of it. And uh, they they've been, it. yeah, they, they get, get it. it. It's been a mix of old and new, but the new stuff's going yeah. over well. Thank yeah. you. All right. Now, now, how much longer are you there? Because you've got to start that tour here relatively soon, don't you? Uh, we do. <laughs> yeah. July, I think we're here, we're here to the July 18th, I believe. We have a couple more weeks. Yeah. We're about halfway through. Yeah. But uh, it's, it's going great. We're bringing Philly, you know, bringing the Philly vibe. Uh, well, well, look, I, I thank you so much for checking in this morning. Good luck. Stay safe. 
right? Uh, is yeah. is Dave going to make you go to Finland? <laughs> I only wish. <laughs> Maybe next time. We're, we're, we're going to Sweden. We do have a show in Sweden. All right. Well, that, uh, that, I know. We, that's only because Eric needs clean clothes. <laughs> <laughs> we're all going to eric's place to do laundry <laughs> well guys look thank you so much for calling in this morning and uh and lo and behold i've got a new hooters song right. queued up here right guys uh, wow uh, I, that. Super. Well, I, we love you. I gotta get nice engine 999 on thanks for calling the john DeBella podcast this- <laughs> Okay, so this is the important phone call. Yes. All right. Uh, I don't know if this one is also from overseas or not. I didn't ask. You didn't ask? No. It's it's always possible. Yes. Should I just go to the phone, and, or do you want to tell me who it is? Oh, it's it's Caroline. She wanted to call Caroline in. Caroline Beasley? Yeah, she wanted to call in and uh, you know, say bye. Caroline? Hi, John. Hi. Uh, Caroline Beasley is the CEO of our company and, uh, uh, you know, Beasley uh, Broadcasting Group and, and one of the nicest ladies you'd ever want to meet. Good morning to you. Good morning. That was really sweet of what you said. So, uh, well, thank you, you. well, thank you. And then, by the way, it's it's too late to fire me. <laughs> uh, yeah. no, it's technically not. <laughs> technically not. John, I, I cannot believe 41 years in Philadelphia. I don't know what uh, Philadelphia is going to do without you. All it right. is just um, uh, just a wonderful career that you've had. Well, well I, I thank you for it. I uh, I've got to tell you, Caroline, this is this is it, it's there's there's it's a roller coaster. It's like you know, yeah. so, some days I feel, oh my god, this is going to be so good, and other days it's like, oh my god, what have I done? All right, you know, yeah. and and the 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 texts, the emails, the cards, the calls from people are just are just endless, and and I, I am. I am so touched, and later on this morning, I'm just going to be a blithering idiot, so thank God you're not going to be here for that, because when I go to say to goodbye, it's just going to be oceans of tears happening here. So. Yeah, I, I saw the email that you sent. Uh, Joe forwarded that to, uh, to us last night, and I had tears uh, after I read it. So um, it's just really special. It's so. it, it, it's it's a special place. It's a special station. It's a special company, and I have been blessed with not only uh, working with. I have, with the exception of two owners, I have worked with broadcasters my whole life. All right, there there, there was uh, John Kluge. Uh, there was uh, you know the uh, you know the folks at Greater Media, the Bordises. And then, and then, you know, your dad, and you know, people who started in radio with a radio station and built an entire group. And it's always made me happy to be with broadcasters as opposed to corporations. And even though we are a corporation, it started as a family thing, and it really means a lot to me. Yeah, thank you. I mean, we definitely have it in our blood. But um, let me ask you, what are you going to do on Monday morning? Uh, when... um, I, I, I have to take the car in. Uh, the car has to go to the shop. Lisa told me there's a vacuum cleaner that's broken. <laughs> and I have to take that to a repair place. And uh, and then uh, and then I'm going on, uh, well, at least for the month of July, I'm going on an Ambien diet to make sure that I do oh. not wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Oh my gosh! All right, so you're going to sleep in. Oh, I'm going right. to sleep in till August. <laughs> right. Oh wow! Any trips planned in your future? Uh, I mean, not, you know, you're going to have some free time. Uh, yeah. Oh, I know that. No, 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 no trips as of yet. I wanted to go to Venice, but then they told me the water was missing. And if you've ever been in Venice without the water, it is it is not a nice smell. So yeah. I'm going to wait for that to fill up again. All right. Uh, but uh, nothing like that. It's just now it's just like, you know, to uh, spend time with my wife, uh, spend time with my son, which, you know, it's it, this schedule does not permit me to be all that much of a family man. And now they're stuck with me. Yeah. Well, that's I mean, look, if you're ever down in Florida, please stop by and see us. I mean, we'd always love to you know, welcome you into our offices or our home or whatever. So you're always welcome. Be careful of those invites because people sometimes take them up. (laughs) Uh, Look, I would love it. I I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. So uh, you're always welcome. But congratulations on such a wonderful, wonderful career. We're so happy and we're going to miss you so much. Well, thank you so much, Carol. I'm going to miss you guys. Send my love to Bruce uh, and everybody else in the family. And thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to work here for 21 years. 
All right. Thank you, John. Have a great uh, rest of your morning, right. and I'll Th- be tuning in. Thank okay. you so much. On Florida's Space Coast, we think you can have the best of both worlds. Kind of like right now. Driving, at your desk, maybe at the gym, but you're also grooving to some music. Visit us and you'll go to the beach and see a rocket launch. Or go kayaking and manatee spotting. It's all waiting for you on the only beach that doubles as a launch pad. Plan your adventure today at visitspacecoast.com. With Manny and Lorenz War of the Roses, when you get busted cheating, you can blame us. Can we kind of call you when we don't have these guys listening? They're mm. putting ideas into your head. Another uh, guy has broken my heart. But the truth will always come out. Listen to Manny and Lorenz War of the Roses wherever you get your podcasts. John DeBella Podcast. Joining us now here in the studio, ladies and gentlemen, is the true uh, Philadelphia radio archivist, uh, a man who knows th- more things about me than I remember. Kevin Gunn is here, a.k.a. the man who, uh, do you know there are people who still text me saying, I'm calling you from Gunnerville? I do. I get it on the street uh, a lot it, in it, my it, native Avertown. I still get <laughs> Gunnerville that right. you coined. Our winner earlier uh, uh, right. for the Chili Peppers tickets. Uh, was he? Said he was from Gunnerville? From Gunnerville, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amazing. All right. That is what? That, it, that is 41 years ago. That is. That is 41 years and ago. And it's a testament to your pull and and your uh, influence over the audience. The greatest thing about listening to you and great radio is that you feel like you're mem- you're a member of a community that's created and you're on the inside and you get the joke. And I have to say that I learned that from you f- over four decades ago. You created a club that we were all really kind of proud to be a part of. And we spoke the language, and we had our catchphrases, and that's how you knew you were in the club. Uh, it's like in the sting when they touch their the nose. nose right, that, <laughs> you right, know, right, you're right, in the yeah. club. You know, you, you know created what it means. The, and you created the club. You know what I mean. Well, and, well, Gunnerville came from when I first got here. Kevin sat down with me. We had, we used to have a a, a a file card box in the studio that had the names of different towns in it. And, you know, and this way, you know, so when we're doing the weather, go, and it's 58 degrees in Glen Mills, okay. right? And that would be the sure. next card. So you always, so you always were never on a blank for a town. So Gunner grabbed all the cards and sat in front of me holding them up, right? You know, and, you know, and because there were some things that, you know, when you see Bryn Mawr for the first time, your mouth can't make that sound. Yeah, but- <laughs> <laughs> you have to hear somebody say it before you can really understand it. And he's going through and he's going through and and he holds one up and he, I, I say, Havertown. He goes, that's where I live. I said, from now on, it's Gunnerville. Right. And it, and, and I referred to it from Gunnerville from that day on. And right. uh, so to like drive in and hear a listener say I'm from Gunnerville. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, that doesn't right. really happen to young Irish Catholic kids from Havertown. It's <laughs> right. like, what? Right. And, but one of the things that I, I was probably one of the towns that we never talked about, all right, uh, was was is, is East Oak Lane, right? That is, East Oak yeah, Lane. Is it East Oak Lane or West Oak Lane? That's East Oak I Lane. think there's one of each. Yeah, is there one both, of each? Yeah. Well, well, somebody when I was on the air, this is like when I first started. And I was on the air, and someone said to me, I said, where are you calling from? I said, e-, and he goes, East Oak Lane. And I said, I don't want to know the street. I want to know the town. He goes, it is East <laughs> Oak Lane. Right. From the town that brought you Street Road. Road. Right. Right. <laughs> right? Where do you live? I live on Street, street Road. Road. Yeah, well, yeah, what's well, the name of it? It's Street, street Road. Road. <laughs> anyway. When, when I, I, and I, I, this is going to seem like, you know, a lot of self here, but when people say to you, Right. What's your favorite DeBella story? What story do you tell? Atlantic, you, Atlantic City. Atlantic City. Yes. As much yeah, as I too. love London, as much as I love London, because the rock stars were convenient and mm-hmm. we got some yeah. amazingly heavy names there. Right, right. You know, you trying to get Mark Knopfler of Dire Straits to pick up the guitar sure. and play <laughs> one of the great memories. But I've never seen anything on the scale of Atlantic City. It was a different era. We had record companies. We had big sponsors. We could fly people in and out. But the genesis of the Atlantic City shows was your imagination and your drive to see just how far we could take it. And we had 800 people in that place every day. We would come down the escalator and they'd be in line. And when we would like start the show, the enthusiasm in the room was unbelievable. The guests were amazing. And uh, I just think it was radio on the largest scale that I've ever participated in. And... And, and I have bad news for the kids out there. We didn't have the internet. <laughs> we didn't have so We had to, like, do it, like, in primitive. We all arrived in covered wagons, you know. Uh, but uh, I, I have something I want to give you. Okay. okay. All right. 
Uh, 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 it's in here. It's a brown paper bag that's concealing something that John will get immediately, yeah. I hope. I wonder if I understand it. You know, in certain parts of the city, when you get a brown paper bag, it usually has a white powder inside. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's the 80s, John. It's 2023. All right, all right. But I don't have my red shoes. Well, I, I did the best I could. And this is the only season, the only week in the war, in the whole year where they're not jamming pumpkins at us. So I couldn't find a real one. So I had to get a phony one. But did you not just bring this up? What? Is this in regards to? Um... This is this is the first day I arrived at the radio station. Okay. All right. Uh, and uh, had I been hired yet? Or, or yeah, yeah, Charlie okay. Kendall sent me down. Go meet the new morning guy at the elevator. Okay. All right. So and, the elevator door opens, and John's right. sporting a red shoe. Red... Right, I'm, wearing, I'm wearing red shoes that look like like I stole something from the Pope's closet. Okay. All yeah. right. And I'm carrying a pumpkin because oh, it was, it was right. like it was late October. Okay. All right. And, and you know, I was going to be in town for a couple of weeks to kind of train and get an understanding of the city. And th- and his vision of me has always been me in red shoes holding this pumpkin. Hi, All I'm right. Debella. I brought you a pumpkin. I <laughs> said, so I'm Gunner. Follow me. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Gunner, I thank you for coming by this morning. I thank you so much for your friendship. You you are the best of the best. You are the soul of not one but multiple radio stations. Well, and, thank you. Uh, it you, is. You opened up the world to me. I didn't think big until I started hanging out with Debella, and then I thought, you know what? Possibilities are endless, and I learned that from you. And uh, and I, I, it's been an honor to do radio, commit radio with you. <laughs> and I wish you the best in retirement because you've earned it. All right. Do you uh, you want to go to Atlantic City for a moment? Oh man, would I? All right. Well, then all I got to do is press this button. <laughs> Greg Allman. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah. Greg Allman, 8 o'clock in the morning after being sent here from a drug overdose. <laughs> yeah. They arrived at 4 in the morning. Too. <laughs> uh, we got to get them home. So. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, John. Congratulations. And done. MGK congratulates John DeBella putting the wraps on a stellar career. Hi, John. It's Debbie, your little redheaded girl. I was so hoping to be there with you on your final days in the studio. Uh, but in the past couple of weeks, um, let's see, I picked up a convertible in Georgia, visited Dustin there, visited my dad in North Carolina, did a Guilford Girls thing in the Outer Banks. Went on tour with uh, Chip and Richmond and Philly and New Jersey. Uh, In other words, this is what retirement looks like. You can do anything. You can go anywhere. Time is on your side. I just want to say you deserve all the accolades that you've been receiving this past month. I've been following everything on social media, and I'm so happy for you. And you're finally doing it, you bastard. We've talked about this for years. Thank you for introducing me to uh, Sauvignon Blanc and to uh, the plant Astilbe. I will always be grateful to you for that and for so many other things. Best of luck to you, John. You've got a great future ahead. Sending our best to one of the best. Happy retirement, John, from your fans and friends at 102.9 MGK. I can't believe those knuckleheads are still outside. Earlier this morning, Dave McGrogan, uh, my friend Adam Howard, I think Patrick is out there too. Caesar is there as well. They decided that, you know, Dave decided that this was a dead show. All right, and, uh, and, and and they are they are outside, uh, you know, tailgating. Right, they're, they're more than likely, more than likely, they they are imbibing in more ways than one. Right, and then and then who's the guy with the pickup truck? Uh, Robert Johnson, the listener. And I, now that our, our windows have cleared, I can see that it says forty one. Okay. and we all won. Okay, forty one, uh-huh. and we all won. Thank you, JDB. All right, yeah, he's got these two giant posters on the back of his truck, and and uh, and my thanks to everybody. the the um, The amount of stuff the, the 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 text board is just on fire. I I don't even want to look at my mail right no. now. All right, uh, looking at my mail is 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 painful. It's painful because well, you know, I'll get a oh, congratulations, and then all of a sudden, t- someone tells a story, and I'm like, okay, here come the tears again. All right, uh, but uh, we've got a little more to go uh, before this show uh, comes to an end. The John DeBella 
Podcast. It's 41 and done. MGK congratulates John DeBella putting the raps on a stellar career. Hey, DeBella, it's Christopher Titus. Hey, man, I just wanted to say uh, I heard about you retiring, and the good news is you outlived a lot of the rock stars you helped make famous. Good for you, man. That being said, my brother, for many years, going on your show uh, was always a joy. You know, no comedian likes to get up at 6, 7 o'clock in the morning to go do radio, but because it was you, it was always awesome. And that laugh that you have kills me. When you're home, retired, and you do that laugh, you're going to look insane. So, you know, tone it down. But I'm going to miss you, bud. And, I, and, you know, we're still friends. I will see you when I'm around. But thanks for being probably one of the best jocks that this country's ever seen. Congrats on your retirement, my brother. And thanks for all the years. Sending our best to one of the best. Happy retirement, John, from your fans and friends at 102.9 MGK. You think we're diving for gold. We know we're diving for pearls. You think we're diving for pearls. We know we're diving for love. To Nicky Nicky Hoy To guide us to Nicky Heaven It was several years ago I was shipwrecked on a small atoll of the Barbados It was there that I had several bizarre experiences Concerning an old major woman and a born knight And when the sun comes up I'm holding fire The lepers all come up Cry to Nicky Nicky Hoy to guide us to Nicky Heaven. You think we're diving for gold? We know we're diving for pearls. You think we're diving for pearls? We know we're diving for love. And when the Matson ship, the old Lord Nicky Nicky Hoy to guide us to Nicky Heaven. Nicky Nicky Hoy to guide us to Nicky Heaven. Nicky Nicky Hoy will guide us to Nicky Heaven. Hoy Hoy. Classic rock. Aloha Joe. Classic rock 102.9 MGK. Uh, do we? Uh, oh, you know what? I totally forget. I uh, forgot to say that had we done uh, take the fifth, it would have been brought to us by Matt Blatt Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Now open at the Philly Auto Mall. Visit mattblattcdjr.com. All right. So, do we have a winner? Does, yeah, right. there's a lot of phone calls. I appreciate right. you uh, doing that right before you get right. out of here, pal. Uh, quite right. really? <laughs> had, had to work into the last <laughs> minute. <laughs> uh, yeah, we got a winner, Joe. I don't have his last name because I have to call him back. But he All said right. six twenty one. He was the closest without going over. All right, and six forty was six forty was the was the number closest so. over was six forty seven. Oh, mm, oh, yeah. that's terrible. <laughs> oh, seven minutes too much. Oh, seven, seven seconds, seconds too, too much. much. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to take care of some business. And then uh, it's time to wrap this baby up. The John DeBella Podcast, 102.9 MGK. And I'm just going to let this play out today and just tell you, I, I'm, I'm in shock. I am in shock. The amount of emails I've gotten, the amount of texts that are still coming in. Right. Did we did we mention who got that uh, that pair of tickets, by the way? i got to make sure. Uh, the Bruce tickets? Yeah. It was Joe... Joe. Joe. It was Joe. Joe did it. It was Joe. Okay. I put it back over there. Okay, fine. He lives in Delaware. I didn't, want, I didn't want to leave Joe out. All right. But this is the point at which I got to start saying my goodbyes. And I'm sorry if I forget some people's names. Please remember, I'm old and I did a lot of drugs in the 60s and in the 70s and in the 80s. Actually, I'm still doing a lot of drugs except now they're all prescribed. And with that said, I want to thank my former managers, Hal Smith, Mike Craven, Chuck Fee, Rick Feinblatt, John Fulham, and, and presently Joe Bell. My former uh, PDs, Charlie Kendall, George Harris, Ted Utz, Tim Sabian, Buzz Knight, Charlie Lake, and Bill Weston. 
hands down, the best TV, the best PD I worked for in my career. We bust this man's chops a lot, but but he actually likes it. He's a, he's a really really weird man, right? But, but he is the greatest uh, the greatest program director I ever worked with. Of course, show staff members, uh, Mark the Shark Drucker, Steve Lushbaugh, Grover Silcox, Earl Bailey, Clay Heary, who? All right, uh, Dave Gibson, Dallin Pavey. Got to thank them. Got to thank our, ins- uh, our ins- uh, interns and assistants, Taylor Marzen and Nate, uh, and Nate Weaver, who are soon to be Mr. and Mrs. Weaver. They are getting married next Saturday, and uh, they met right here in the show. I told them. I hooked them up. So if you guys get divorced, do not blame me. Uh, Rando, Jordan Lieberwitz, uh, Justin, Adam, uh, Giancarlo. All right, got to make sure to get all of those in. Uh, my former producers, Chip Hranek, Roger Wilco, Kevin Gunn, Karen Buck, Nipsey, Lawrence Bergman, a.k.a. Huggy, Giant Brian, Rob Bonanza Calvert, and Steve Vassilotti, who I said this at an event that uh, for the Walk of Fame, and, and I, I, all I could do is look into the crowd and hope that he saw me. You are, hands down, the best producer I've ever had. Every producer I've ever worked with has always, they didn't, they didn't get me or, or they just let me get away with whatever I wanted to. You've never done that. You've always spoken up. You've always fought me on what you believe is right. You are, a, you are a golden, golden man in this business. And if it wasn't for you, I doubt I could have gotten through the past six months. It would, it would have been, it would have been impossible. There are friends to thank also who have supported me no matter where I've worked and, and when, no matter what I've needed. So uh, I must thank Larry Maggot and uh, Ricky Blatstein, Steven Starr, right? uh, my, my friend Bob Cranes who checked in with me. Scope, I know you're out there. I know you're listening. And I always loved your support. Even after you left the company, you made sure I, you always had my back. And my dear friend Dave McGrogan. He busts my chops about my age. I bust his chops about his height. But together, we are the rebels of the Sacred Heart. And, of course, there are air staffs to thank. I want to thank the full and part-time air staff here at MGK, especially Matt Cooper, Andre Gardner, and Tony Harris. We may be small, but we are mighty. All right? and, uh, uh, and I need to pay tribute to what I believe was the greatest radio air staff in this, in this city ever heard. Joe Bonadonna, Earl Bailey, Bubba John Stevens, Michael Tiersen, Lynn Kratz, and, of course, Pierre Robert. Pierre was the first friend that I had at MMR and the oldest friend that I have in this city today. I guided him when we started, and he guided me as we aged. That man is the rock and roll soul of this city and the conscience of his radio station. That man delayed his vacation for four days just to be on the air with me this past Monday. I love him dearly, and and every moment that we've had together has been precious. All right, now comes to the hard part. (laughs) This was the easy part. Now comes to the hard part because I have to say goodbye to you now, all of you people who are listening. I have had a truly magical life. I have met rock stars, rock royalty, and real royalty. I've spoken to the famous and the infamous, and I've done my best to take you with me. We live in a time where everything seems to be about the me's in the world. I've done my best to make my show about us. I wouldn't have a show without you. You are as much as important to this show as me or Steve or anybody at this station. I've said it many times that the problem with notoriety is that you meet 99 wonderful people and one a-hole. And unfortunately, you always remember that a-hole. Well, your calls and emails and texts have washed them away, never be thought, yeah, no, thought about again. I can't begin to explain to you how difficult it is for me to say goodbye. Uh, everything I have is because of you people. Everything I have is because of my listeners. The messages I have gotten from you have made me realize how much of a part of your life I have been. I am sorry to say that I, I, I've, I'm sorry. I, I, I feel like I'm abandoning you, like I'm letting you down. I doubt you feel that way, but it hurts so much to say goodbye. So goodbye is what I must say. I love you. I thank you. Have a great life, Philadelphia. Don't take any crap from anybody.